Hey, what's up guys, Theo here, and welcome to the second video of building an Airbnb clone um, with React, React Router, Webpack, and other web technologies. So, um, this this is going to be a pretty quick video. We're just going to set up our, uh, you know, React Router, the React Router DOM package, and we're going to use that to build out just two very basic uh, routes that we can uh, interface with, uh, or that our users will uh, you know, be directed to. So once you open up your file, what you need to do is you need to install um, React. You can install it as a dependency or dev dependency if you want, and React Router DOM. And this is the package now that um, it's in if you're building under React. Uh, I already have that. Uh, I can show you that. If I open my package.json, it's right here React Router DOM. So um, what I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and start up uh, the Webpack dev server with the serve script. And this is just going to open up the project in 8080. We refresh. And what we see here is welcome to Airbnb. Okay. And now what I want to do is I want to go ahead and open up Sublime. And let me get rid of this real quick. Tried to make the video just a little while ago, it didn't work. Um, cool. So you can sort of see we have our app here and we're rendering it in this index.js. What we're gonna actually do is I've created a file called router and a file called 404. So we're gonna create two routes for now, the home route and just a 404 route. So let's start by building out the router. And the way we can do this is in this file, we'll import React from React and now we're going to import some components from the React Router DOM package. So we're going to import a switch. And just like you might imagine, the switch component uh, takes in uh, children. And those children are routes of type route component. And basically, it will map based on the path there. And it'll map it uh, exactly. Uh, and this is useful for, again, building out a 4.4 uh, component. Uh, we also need the route component, and I want the browser router. Okay, and this is from the React Router DOM package. So with that, um, what I want to do now, if it comes back, come on. All right, I'm gonna shut down Sublime and just try and use Vim. So let's just use Vim actually at this point. So we'll go into index.js, or not index, sorry. Let's go into router.js. And again, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna import React. This is a little bigger for us. Import React from React. Uh, and then we're gonna go ahead and import um, like I was saying, browser, router, um, what else do we need? We need route and switch. And this is from React Router DOM. Okay. Um, and then I'm going to say const router. And this is just going to be a function um, that at the end of the day is just going to uh, return some JSX. And let's go ahead and export the router as well. So um, inside of here, we need to start off with the browser router. And this takes as its children. Um, it's going to take as its children, of course, the, uh, the, um, the switch, right? And the switch is going to take as its children the routes. So we're going to map two routes right now. And the properties that we can give to the route is exact path. And the path here is going to be root. And now we need to give it a component, right? So this component is going to be the app component. So let me actually import that as well. So we'll say import app from app. Okay. All right, um, and then and then the next one we need to do the other route is going to be route 
path. What's the path here? The path is going to be the wildcard. And we're going to say component is going to be 404. Okay. So let me bring that in too. So we'll say import 404 from 404. Okay, cool. So that is good for that. So let me just cat router.js, make sure it's good. All right. Um, now let's go back into our index. So say vim index.js. And now um, instead of needing the app, we can take that out. Um, and I don't think we need, yeah, we'll point out we need component app. Okay, so that's good. Render. Now let's import our router. So we'll say import router from router. Okay. And now we're going to get rid of this. And we're going to say here, we are going to say render. And this time we're going to pass it router. We're not going to do the history yet. We we'll say history. And we're going to do document.get element by ID, and again, like always, we will pass this root, and let me save that, make sure this actually works, and what does it tell me, component 404, um, let me see, what is wrong with that, component was 404, um, ah, probably need to build out that 404 component, so, Let's go ahead and then into there 404. Okay, so I created this very basic 404 component. Um, and again, it's just gonna say, sorry, the page you're not looking for does not exist. And we just used one more component that I didn't really show, and this is the link component. And this works just as an href. Um, it's really about it. There's a few other nuances of it. I'll have to look into it to be honest, but I'm just using it so that we can make use of another component in the React router DOM package. Um, and so basically you give it a link to, and this will just take you back home, right? So, um, let me, let's run this again and see why we are not being successful at this. So let's run and route exact path component equals 404. Let's see what the actual error is in here. I'm not sure I understand. Unexpected syntax switch, switch. Then mm. just router.js one more time. Const router function returns some JSX route exact path. Ah, there we go. Okay, so uh, looks like that was it. And let it refresh here. Or let me do this. We did not serve. Here we go. Let's run it. And still building okay so welcome to airbnb yo and if we go to a route like hello then we'll get this sorry the page you're not looking for it's not exist go back home and just to prove this to you in the uh, react developer of tools um, we can look at this right and so we can sort of see we have our router here and we have a browser router and it's history um, right that's that's the amount of times it's been used uh, it's history, it's children, right? So it's history. Uh, it's got match, params, go. So you can actually, uh, you know, use it right here. Switch, it's context, it's the router, route, location. And of course, this is the route that we're on right here. But if we, again, if we go back to that other route, hello, and you can see it change in here. Route, browser, router, route switch, route path. Here we go, that's the 404 component. So, um, hope you guys enjoyed this. This is part two and we will pick back up in the next video. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Take care.